So in this episode, we are going to authorize user according to his role. So the important thing is authorization. We have created many things, but now it's time to restrict the access to various levels. So welcome back to Bitfumes and I'm your host Sartak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So what we need, we need to restrict user. So let's see, I am logged in as a Sarthak and for Sarthak is only editor. And if I go to roles, editor can have create permission and delete permission. Obviously you can manage the permissions as you want. It's just, I want to show you how you can create that. I'm not going to dive in the debate of what access we have to apply to editor, what access we have to apply to publisher and blah blah all these things. It's just a matter of showing how these things works. Obviously, if you get the idea how things works, then you can create anything you want. That's what I do. Okay, so let's move on. So I will give an editor permission for create, update and delete. What I will do, I will give editor as a permission for update and delete not going to create, not going to publish. The role of the editor is just to check what blog post is created, how it's look like, if it is not appropriate, delete it. If it is having some changes, change it and move it for publishing. Okay, so let's move on and hit submit. And yes, we have created these things. So now as we have seen that we have given the editor permission not to create we have to hide this button so it's very simple so let's go here and go to resources views admin and we have uh, post show we can restrict our user like this user arrow role arrow permission and if the permission is assigned to create then we will go and give this button otherwise we will restrict this button but every time you have to do this everywhere so instead of this you can use gates so what are gates gates have simple logic where you can put all your logic there and just call the gate to authorize an user so in the documentation you can see gates are defined on auth service provider so i will go to apps providers and auth service provider here we have this blank system and now i will paste this gate here so you can see we have all crud part of the post all crud part of the user so instead of this i can give a resource gate so resource gate is just like resource controller it will have all the crud part so Instead of this, I will give resource gate and here I will provide the post policy. But you don't see any policy folder inside app. So because we have to generate that policy. So let's go to terminal. I will say php artisan make policy and the policy name is obviously post policy. Okay. And if I go here and you can see it says policy and policy is related to this particular model okay so now let's create this policy with this particular model so we have all these things with the model name also so our model name is let's see is that post um, inside user yeah it is post post okay so Let's go hit return or enter and we have created this policy. So if I now go to app folder, you can see we have this policies folder inside. We have this policy and you can see because we have used the model, it's going to give view, create, update and delete part. That means the whole crud part for our post. And now let's see how we can restrict our user with various kind of permissions. So if I go to SQL Pro, 
and I can see on our database if I go to permissions table you can see the various permission has various IDs so we will use these IDs and firstly use for create so if this function will return true then user have the access otherwise not okay so firstly I have to check for every role of the user so that should be user arrow roles as we have defined the relationship that's why I can use the user arrow roles as a role and for every role again I have to loop through for role arrow permissions as permission okay and now I have to say if permission arrow ID is equal to now here is the important thing the create part that means it's just like a post create so post create has an ID of 4 so if this ID is equal to 4 then we are going to return true return true okay so here and if not if there is no ID matching with 4 then return false simple okay so let's call that here so how we can call that gate here so I will use can and here I will provide posts dot create and my model name and we have to provide uh, only user so I will say auth user okay simple so let's delete this and move this here so if this function will give true then we are going to show add new button otherwise we are not going to show add new button so go back refresh and it says policy does not exist obviously we have to give here the policy address so policies slash okay let's refresh one more time and now it says must be instance of app user okay and here comes the problem because we are passing here auth user which is actually an admin because here we are trying to access the app user which is not any kind of model so I have to provide actually the real model so I have to say model slash okay and here also I will use model slash user slash a small p post okay and now whenever I used user I will change it to admin so that should be admin okay and where and wherever I use post I will use with a small post okay so now it expecting admin instance and yeah we are passing the admin instance on our view that's nice let's refresh one more time and you can see add new button is not here and if we change our role that means the Sartha user is assigned a role of editor but if I give editor permission to create and then I will go to post you can see add new button is right here so this is the easiest way we can authorize any person so let's do all these things for other so firstly what I will do I will not giving any kind of permission to editor so in that case we are not going to see add new button we are not going to see edit button and delete button okay so let's go and create these things okay so let's copy these thing from here and move this here for this and now we don't need any kind of post model because we are not having any system where we are 
we want any post model actually we don't need this so delete from everywhere okay because we are giving everything as a hard-coded one so there's no need to give that so what we can do now we are on the update part and for the post update we have uh, 5 ID 5 so I will give ID of 5 and obviously return false if no matches okay same thing for here so that should be like this return false and the delete ID is 6 so here I will provide 6 and everything is nice but I think there is a repetition of exactly the same code so what we can do we can move all these codes in a new function that function will be protected function and let's get the function of get permission and it will get obviously the username and uh, permission ID so I will use P underscore ID here and paste everything here so if we give here 4 that should come here so we have to provide this here okay so now we can use this function anywhere we want we just have to provide two things in this function one is the user and is the ID so here is the permission ID and return dollar this arrow so same thing here move everything here and that should be 5 and once more move everything here and that should be 6 so save this file and everywhere this is okay let's go refresh and we have to go to posts and no add new button but we are having this because we have not given anything on this part so let's give that part so we are not going to give the edit part so here I have to say can so posts dot update and again auth colon colon user same thing and let's go here paste it and delete this one also and one more for our delete part so again can posts dot delete and that should be auth user and it's you can see it's so clean that you can get everything whenever you want so that should be here okay if you come after some time let's say six months and you can see yeah user have permission then it will going to give the edit edit part so let's go one more time refresh this page and it's not giving anything and yeah some data table problem that's because we have to restrict these things one more time okay so what I can do I can say this thing that's that here we have so this then end can and same thing here for this and can and copy all these things for the footer so paste it here refresh and yes no error from data table okay so this is a very cool part and now I will go to roles editor editor can update and delete submit post yeah update that means edit and delete part is here but there is some problem you can see we don't have add part here but if I go and say post slash create yeah user can access this page we have to restrict this one also so how about that if I go to level documentation and 
you can see do we have something um, okay if user can so we have to use this thing in the model so I will open controller and which controller that is the post controller so post controller and and whenever we are going to create and whenever user can access try to access the create part we have to restrict it so if user go to this and can post dot update and we don't we have to give the here so if user can post dot update then yes we will get all these things here but otherwise return redirect to admin dot home okay and that should be route admin dot home is a route oh yeah okay so go back refresh it says auth not form okay no problem use it at the top for that refresh but it can access still because we have to give here create not update refresh and yes it's redirecting back to our home page so that means user cannot add any post until he is assigned a permission to create so one more time create is here and we are landing on this page and this is how all permission system works okay so here we have so you can use all these things everywhere so instead of this what I can do I can copy this and as we have edit part also so I can say update and one more for delete so I think delete we don't have to specify because delete is a method of delete so it will only trigger when we when user click on this because you know at the back end of this we have a form so form will always going to submit via button so we are actually hiding this button so we don't need to specify in the controller the next important thing for this we have to provide this one also redirection to other page so edit and if he has permission then add okay otherwise redirect to home page okay so let's restrict update part go here and no button for update but if I go and I will say tool slash edit again redirecting yeah it's very nice obviously I there is lot more to do here so now let's work on this tag and category part so tag and category part we have to specify here so I will close this and now in my auth service provider I will create new gate which is like simple if you go here and you can see we can define a simple gate by say gate define so I will say define and this is post dot tag and that should be inside this policy at tag because it's not a resource gate it's simple gate so we have to specify the function on the policy so again that should be for category so category okay so we have created the gates let's define these two functions here in our policy so copy this two times and give some spaces this is tag and this is category okay so now let's see the tag and category has 11 and 12 ID so now tag is 11 category is 12 okay so let's go and refresh so you can see we have done that part but we can see something because we have provided editors permission for the category and tag so let's define only for category but still we can see the tag here so let's go one more time and 
open sidebar so sidebar dot blade dot php and here we have to define again like we have defined can post dot category and here the model name is auth colon colon user and that should be here that should be deleted and that copy from here and paste it here and and can here comes tag and that should be category okay so let's go refresh and you can see it's gone i, I think both are gone <laughs> so there is some kind of problem that is because of the spellings mistake so if i go to auth service provider you can see spelling is mistake so here we have what i have written uh, category that's correct refresh and yeah category is here but not the tag so if i give tag and not the category so tag is here not the category but next is that you can see we have not given any category option for this editor but if i try to access category we can still access the category page that is not true because we have restricted the user to access the category it's not on the sidebar but user can access via the route so let's restrict that so i will go to category controller and one important thing is that if you go to documentation of laravel on the policies and gate you can see this via middleware so we can actually define this middleware inside our constructor so this thing is simple uh, that should be can you can see this can then the name of the gate so posts dot category and same thing we have to give see this close it for the tag and like this that should be tag okay close this so now if i refresh this you can see it says action is unauthorized but for the tag yeah we can access this and if i revert this thing so making category yes tag no so category now we can access but for the tag we can get the unauthorized error and obviously this is a 403 error you can uh, create a 403 page and you can put that page on the views and errors page and you will get that page here you are not authorized so these are the things we can play with all these permission it's now your homework to give all these kind of system for user permission so go and work for this and as i told you this is your homework so i will check that and you can give that thing to me and i will check that if you want my help on creating these kind of things so you're free to message me email me comment me and don't forget to like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode the next part the last part we are going to cover is the simple like and dislike finally we are very close to end of the series and i think in the four or five videos we are ending this series with like and dislike so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye